Howdy, it is cruise day, so I am getting ready to see if I can get me some beignets here. There's a place that sells them within an off distance of the hotel. No clue what kind of place it is. We're going to check it out, see if we can find some. I sort of had to wet Kelly up at 8 o'clock. I wanted to go ahead and get going because there's parades and stuff in town. And, you know, we got time to get there, but, you know, I sort of rustled around enough to wake him up so that way we can get going. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get some beignets. I wanted to get some last night and get them, so yeah, that's it. This is the place I've been getting my beignets from. Uh, I've only had beignets once, and that was on the Carnival Mardi Gras slash celebration, so yeah. Excellent. Carnival. Funnel cake top taste. No dipping sauce. But this stuff. Uh, so we are done with the checking process. Um, everything really smooth. Everything going as planned. Uh, no no issues is a good thing. Especially after last time. Um, you know, pretty. I wasn't sure how leaving out of New Orleans would be from the, you know, free stuff just because you're not they're not really a cruise port. Yeah, we heard stories about you know, the, the, the parades causing traffic. Yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty strange shot here for us. Yeah, I mean, traffic was nothing. Um, no traffic at all. Parking was close by. Um, you know, only we brought everything we decided yeah. to do the uh, portable parking. We, um, so we didn't. Was a yeah, I mean, it was pricey, but it was just with a it wasn't the time to save money and do a parking lot with all this going on. Um, yeah. Not give our luggage to the people at the top. We carried it down and then give it to them. I thought that was a little safer to do it. Plus, not as lush to you know, be able to make sure you get everything and that kind of stuff. I got my drinks on board, they did, which I didn't do anything illegal, but I, I did get my drinks on board. And Kelly bought his... And he brought his six coats on board. So, yep. Um, we are waiting. This is the check-in. Oh, we know. I don't guess we got like a platinum lounge. So I'm over here in the stewage. Here we are boarding the Carnival Glory. Where I would say every time best best little in the world. I had about a minute of amazing content that would never be seen because I did not hit record. But uh, yeah, this is Born Plus is a little goofy. They call all platinum together. Um, didn't really affect us, I don't think. But um, you know, kind of made a little bit of a cattle call. But um, we're going to have we're going to have a great trip. Even though I'm going to freeze my yin yang off, but I've been but I have been told to not mention the fact that. It is going to be colder in Chatsworth than it is in the Key West. Because it's stuck to the right, sir. So, yep, this is the best thing in the world. If you could bottle it up and sell it, you'd be a rich man. The little gangway area goes on for It's a longer of a gangway than I remember on, on, on like, the Port Canaveral, Miami areas. I'm now switching over to the view where you can easily see the ship instead of my charming face. Um, it's a little rainy now. It didn't really rain on us earlier, but it looks like rain is coming in now. Well, I love for bringing you down. I love for bringing you down. Such a beautiful sun. Hey, that's what you have to look forward to. Um, Eddie Rabbit's with me on this cruise. It is. Woo! I've been a little careful on the steps there. Are they? Why the bad I see there's wood there's wood on the out the wood on the outside just so seems to be a little bit odd. Ooh. Ooh. Woo styling and profiling. Give me a Ric Flair strut. 
Got a backpack, but I didn't mess up. Yep. So, this is actually it. It's about 12 30 ish. We are walking. I'm going to drop my bag off. One advantage of staying with the fish, you get your uh, all luggage is already here. So, that is ironic that all luggage is already here. So, score one for the good guys. Score one for the good guys. Beds are separated. So, yep, this is. So, we're just going to quickly go drop off. We obviously will not be needing these sunglasses anytime soon. So, yep, this is what we got so far. So, we got. I no longer have. We are room. This is 1203. As I said, the. Further room you can possibly go. Inside room here. Um, first thing you will notice is they have the old school insert the key thing. It's not the, you know, by the side. Um, there is no, the light switch cover is also the traditional one. There's no key, put the key card thing in there. Um, as far as the room, pretty standard room. Feels like there's a little more room in the um, in the middle of the walkway. Seems like there's a hair more room. Uh, closet space looks pretty. Got plenty of storage space. Looks like standard. Maybe a slightly less than in the Mardi Gras class, but you know I think you know pretty standard there. You got your refrigerator. Which is not officially a refrigerator. Um, you got your room mirror. We got a little, little bit of a desk there. I haven't even opened the bathroom yet. Um, uh, your typical carnival bathroom. Of course, on this class, you do have the shower curtain. Um, do have more shelves here on this class of ships. So you got plenty of kind of storage things there. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, room tour. If you've been on a carnival ship, there is a safe right there. If you've been on one carnival ship, you're pretty familiar with this layout. So nothing really, you know, drastic in good or bad. So this is the Mississippi River. Um, the Sunway Party, as you can tell, is capital. Not fish the capital. They're moving in indoors. Yes, not a lot to see, but. Um, whether or not turning out good at all. I was hoping to show the Mississippi River. Yeah, probably get some of that. Right. So we got some. Uh, see, Kelly's got several drinks in, into him, but he's still his usual charming self. Um, but he, he did admit that he, odds are, he would not be making the 1130 comedy. May happen. I I I, I have my doubts. We're going to make the 9:30 work for board show. <laughs> the Saskatchewan one. shrimp, right? That's your one shrimp. Yep. Brent Davis has got to be laughing about this. Really good. Oh, I get he do, oh, I, um, he, he does some bad on camera though. Now the ribs, there you go. Oh, the uh, yeah. I think we both got that. You're on camera now. All right. So you, Kelly, being the shrimp expert, Brent Davis, this taste is for you. I figured out what the heck. It is hard for Kelly to try to um, say no to shrimp that is included. Not about the lamb or what a beef rib or whatever that is over there. But if I remember that, it, it, it looks, it looks good. good. Yeah. Now, good which one did you pick if you had to pick between the two? Mm. 
close call. Strangely enough, I think the land. I remember us, uh, us liking it last time. We were, I mean, this is a little sweet, but not not a lot to discourage me. But I think the yeah. You know, I'd have the to land, go with the land. land. Yeah. You heard it here for times with my world famous. Or well, not my world famous. Um, he wishes he would have patented it. <laughs> Warm chocolate mountain cake with peanut butter. Um, as always, the secret is out. It's a different type of peanut butter than the last time. Last time it was more swirly. This looks more kind of creamy. I tried to smuggle in some juice from the hotel in one day. Actually, I think I do even have it. <laughs> Uh, very hot. The cake's very like, hot. So it's yeah, fresh. If, he, if he only would have patented that right? idea. Yeah, we're good. Good. We'll good. If he would have patented that idea, he'd be retired on a cruise ship right now, folks. But, yep, drive with peanut butter like always. And for those of you who are from New Orleans or not from New Orleans, just from Louisiana and celebrating Mardi Gras, happy Mardi Gras, baby. Y'all look fantastic. We're going to be celebrating that too, this cruise. We're just going to be celebrating everything. Well, a little bit about me, man. Everybody, my name is Cam. I'm your cruise director. Everybody say, hey, Cam. Hey, Cam. That's all you got to do when you see me out and about is simply say, hey, Cam, and we are connected. Now, a little bit about me is that as your cruise director, I am in charge of nothing. <laughs> no, seriously, you guys will ask me because it says cruise director. Listen, Cam. My toilet is broken. I don't care. <laughs> That's not to do with me. Questions like, is the water in the toilet salt water or fresh water? Number yep. eight. eight. Okay, let's move on with the next song. Number nine. Too, too easy, okay? Listen. Easy peasy. Bum, bum, bum. Macarena. Los. Bum, bum, bum. I might know that Floating. What, next one? I can look it up. It's on my phone. Okay. Next song. That was the song number nine. Next song, number ten. Number ten. You know this one, Brishers. Sure. That's it. That's all you need. That's the Jacksons. You and I will move. You and no. I will. That's, that's the Jacksons. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's the number 10. I love that. <laughs> yes! One more. Good job. This cousin, okay. Yeah. It's not that easy. Howdy, it's Bubba going to do a recap of day one because a lot of times I just forget what I say on camera and what I don't. So I want to try to do a three or four minute recap of every day. Um, um, Checking process was uh, easy. Everything went as planned there. Um, the weather, obviously, you know, making control of that was terrible. Um, the, I mean, rainy, windy, chilly, as bad as it gets. And the rain actually got worse to the point you could, like, I was kind of looking forward to uh, sitting in Mississippi River and, you know, after the sail away and, I sort of saw it through the glass because it was too bad to go outside and nobody was really outside. Um, they had to move the sail away party to the um, deck three main atrium lobby area, and you know they did the best they could, but and you know that it, it just takes away from it because you know sail away party is meant to be outside, not inside, and that area was too small for that. They had people getting ready to set up to take pictures and so you know the celebrate party was you know 
kind of kind of lame, but it's really nobody's fault. It was just more of the weather than anything specifically that Chronicle did. Um, the um, the app, the time on the app was wrong. I mean, it said um, under 10 minutes when we checked in, and it probably was 45 minutes. And um, for brunch the next morning, it was kind of opposite of that. So uh, it was kind of annoying there. Not a big deal. I didn't have, you know. Um, the Welcome Aboard show, um, it was too much music. Too much of the playlist cast for me. I mean, it's about a 45 minute show, but the cruise director was about maybe 20 minutes of it, but it was on 15 minutes of it or so. And the rest of it was kind of the playlist production, rock, kind of the same thing you're going to see on the rock show, would be my guess. So, you know, well, I would like to see them, you know, like on the celebration, they uh, brought out several different acts throughout the ship, music acts, to get you familiar with them. So uh, I was a little bit of a letdown there as far as uh, judging that. Um, the main dining room, um, you know, I thought it, it, it was good, solid, no complaints with it. I think ended up getting the same exact things I got the previous time. Um, it was good. Um, no escort to our table, so that was, you know, first time I see that. The wait staff was fine, you know, not super friendly, but not... You know, you know, it was about what you sort of expect the first time on a um, in any time dining. Um, one big thing on the room that I probably didn't get to when I did the room video was the uh, major major issue is that there is no there's one there's no USBs in the entire ship and the entire room zero USBs in one regular plug in. Um, you know, even if you scratch around trying to unplug stuff, you can't get nothing. You only get one plug in. And um, to make things kind of more annoying, the uh, thing I got to give us more plug ins, I must have accidentally left it in the house because it is not here. So, you know, we'll survive, but that is annoying. And with the dry dock coming up, something I think they'll probably fix there. Um, initial thoughts on the cruise director. I came in with really low expectations. He's probably better than I expected, but he's just. If the kids say mid, you know, he's just kind of odd, odd. Um, you know, the thing I do not like is that the, his jokes, it's the same, you can tell he's the same jokes. He cracks at the same spot in every single week, and I don't like that. Um, you know, Lee was somebody who was quick on his feet and didn't have scripted jokes, and this guy here is, you know, I think, he, I, I think you know, he, even though he's all right now, I think as the week goes on, I don't think he's got a second move to him. Uh, but, you know, he's... He's, he probably will, so far he's surpassing expectations. That's going to be pretty active, but, you know, he's going to be average at best, I think, was my initial thing. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't like when the cruise director say the same joke at every time. So That's it. That's some of the highlights and lowlights of stuff from um, day one. We'll come back tomorrow.